Respect. Honoring the office of president, and by extension, the person holding that office, has been something that has been ingrained in me. Regardless of political persuasion, I've always understood that our responsibility is to honor and respect the president out of respect for our country. This is not always easy, especially depending on who is holding the office. You, Mr. President, make this especially hard. Evidently, you grew up in a time and place which valued throwing the first punch. In fact, it comes so naturally to you that you come across as a bully as you belligerently attack all those who you feel are your opponents. By putting them down, you can climb on their backs and stand taller. That is what it would seem like you are trying to do. Unfortunately, I too grew up with aphorisms that mark me to this day. One of those is turnabout is fair play, which means in my mind that if I'm hit, I can hit back. Now physically hitting someone is not your weapon of choice, Mr. President. Yours are words and particularly caustic words and name calling. Anyone whom you construe to be an opponent gets a moniker which is not very nice and sometimes is downright mean. But no one better do it to you because you will hit back and hit back harder. So it would seem that you too, Mr. President, also learn turnabout is fair play. Although with the added caveat allowing the respondent to up the ante and in their mind get the last word. In other words, you not only hit back, but your goal is a knockout punch, which will leave your opponent out of the race. It is like watching the schoolyard bully in action. He never tires of ridiculing the other kid. The crowd rallies him on because they're not the ones being attacked. The crowd's cries animate him to go further and further, regardless of how absurd and demeaning it gets. The problem is that although he thinks he is demeaning the other person, the one being demeaned is himself. When this person is the president, it not only demeans him, but also the office itself, much to the detriment of all, including the nation.